Thanks for watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to Greater Brockton, Philip Pesoris. Hey, Phil. How are Mark, you? Mark, good to Thank see you. Thank you for having us. Um, poetry, art, art, healing, a little bit of everything. Oh, it's amazing this year. Um, we're going to have Soar Without Limits, Heal Through the Arts, where we um, have artists with disabilities creating art, and my community of poets. Mm -hmm. Go to the website and pick out a piece of art and write a poem about the art, not the disability. Right. And on June 1st, at the Brockton Library in the Driscoll Art Gallery, we're going to have a reception mm -hmm. um, where the poets will read their poetry and the artists will be there, and it will be the first time that the artist and poet will meet. Oh, very So nice. it's, it's a very emotional um, afternoon. Now that's a busy day. That's graduation, graduation day in Brockton, day. Brockton High graduation. But we have enough people that we can probably be in two places at once. I really have gotten into what you guys are doing. I've been the videographer most yep. of the time, and uh, outstanding program on the, the April twentieth that you guys just did. Yep. Um, but this one's even this one's even more special. That that's special. Don't get me wrong. But this one. Expression. I'm going to hold up one of the yep. uh, one of the pictures, and this is by an artist named Karen Page Dash. Okay, she's one of the artists who contributed to the um, to the exhibit. And in 2004, mm -hmm. um, she had a grand mal seizure, and the doctors discovered she was having like 35 to 60 small seizures a day. Yeah, and right after that, she had a um, surgery for a two part temporal um, lobectomy. Wow. And ever since then, she's been on medications to um, suppress it, but this is the art she's creating. I can't create that art right now without <laughs> any kind of impairment of any kind. So you have a whole bunch of other pictures here, and ultimately it's going to be in a, in, a, in, a, in a book like this. Now, Brockton High right. is... Um, making the book um, with the leadership of Hao Lin from the um, Brockton High School Graphic Communications Department. So they're going to be creating the book and it's going to have all the poetry and um, art in the book. And the wonderful thing about it is a student leader, Isaac Dominiquez, is going to be in charge of the whole project. So Hao Lin, who's the teacher, will be overseeing him but Isaac and the students will be creating the book. Well, I'm always amazed about what graphic arts at Brockton High does and over at our Southeastern Regional. Graphic arts has, you know, changed quite a bit over the oh, years absolutely. with the technology, but it's still, I don't know, I, I, I still like a booklet, Phil, yep. Philip. Yep. I, 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 I had a student today who did a speech in my class talking about e-books, mm -hmm. and I still like to turn the pages. I'll get used to the e-books, I'm on my screen, so much, whether it's my phone, my tablet, or whatever, I still like the book, I still like the newspaper. But sooner or later, guess what? It's not going to be there. No, that's understandable. That. But the wonderful thing about this is it's got the poetry and the art in it, so you can really kind of, yeah, you know, tactile, absolutely, you know, touch it and read it, and it's right there for you. You know, you get instant gratification from it. So, um, 32 poets. 32 poets. 27 artists. 27 artists contributed this year. And That's this a year lot. We, we opened it up to all artists with disabilities and caregivers. Right. So, we're going to have art like this. This is by Karen Page Dash. This is one of her paintings. And we're going to that camera. Going to that camera. I get this camera, you okay. get that camera. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, and that's what she's creating. Um, and not only art, but it would be photography too. Okay. So I was going to ask about that. Yep, there'll be a lot of you know, photography. So in ne in next year, are we going to do art, spoken word, maybe throw in, th throw in some music too? Throw in some, well, throw in some music. Because you just did that recently with the, with the cellos. Well, I did, yep. yep. Okay. We didn't record that one. I, oh, did yes, we? you did. We did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I didn't record it. I wasn't able to go right. that day. But this one, 
you know, I really enjoyed the ones you've done in the past because I respect, I, I took art class. I wasn't particularly good at it. I'm stick figures and stuff like that. But anybody that can do that and create is amazing, especially if they have, have to do it with, a, a, I'm not going to call it a disability. I'm going to say an ability. Mm -hmm. different oh, type of an ability. Some of the art that we've received is amazing and you're right, it is an ability to create. Mm -hmm. um, and it also, what, what, what we find um, with this exhibit is it validates the artist. Right. Because now the poet is picking a piece of art not knowing anything about the artist Mm -hmm. And it validates the artist where it's like gives him self gives him or her um, self esteem and they feel good about it, you know themselves and what they're doing, and it's a wonderful um, afternoon. Well, I like the caregiver aspect too because when my dad was sick and we had a caregiver who basically became part of the family, I kept her on after he went to assisted living. I probably needed her even more then because <laughs> assisted living really isn't assisted. No, it's and true. Um, but but they get very in tune with the person they're caring for. So I would think that it's a natural extension right. of that. Yep. So we're talking June 1st, receptions one to two, viewings two to four, and reading of poems. And there. Is poets, it sculpture? No, no, no sculpture this year. Okay, because yeah, I know you've had that in the we've past. We've had I that was just in the past. Curious. Yeah, everything we've received is um, either art like this created or photography. Okay. And uh, the... It'll be the poem and the and the art piece will be side by side, so you can go around nice. the exhibit and look at the art and then read the poem. And then, as I said, the poets will read the poem, and if the artist is there, um, you know it's a, it's a great connection. Good synergy. Good. Very so good. if people want to find out more information, just in general, you have a website. Tell us what it is. No, you go right to the Brockton Library. Oh, to they, the Brockton yeah, Library. They have okay. all the Brockton information. Public Library. Brockton Not Public Org. Library. They have all the information. Okay, cool. Excellent. So um, we'll look forward to this, and we will look forward to more poetry that's going on at the library Absolutely. on a monthly basis. Everyone has a voice. Everyone has a voice. That's monthly. Um, we have the Voices of Diversity, Voices of America, coming up in November. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have... Um, ten poets speaking in the Different language, language of their heritage, yeah. and we're also we're going to change it up a little bit this year, where we're going to have a Greek dance group in oh, their nice. regalia. They're going to be in their full costumes, and an African drum circle. So we'll have poetry. There's your music and dancing, food, and food. Okay, gotta have that. Yep, gotta have that. Even though I can't eat most of it, uh, although Mediterranean diet is a good diet. Oh, it's right? a wonderful diet. Correct. Yep. So thank you. As oh, thank usual, you. And look forward to working with Absolutely. you some more. Absolutely. Okay. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.